if you want to know something about building your own motion rig and I haven't covered it yet, just let me know. Because I don't, I don't know unless you, you say something in the comments. And uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. I appreciate it. I'm doing trying to grow the channel. So, all right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now I know it's been a couple weeks since the last video, um, but I did want to do that that test, the the, uh, the stall test, and a couple different times I tried to do it, it wasn't working. So I ended up uh, getting this ATV brake and kind of rigging it on there so that I can uh, tell where this thing stalls out at. Um, so we're gonna get the results today. Another thing is 10 days ago, Russia invaded Ukraine. And dudes, that's just wrong. I don't mean to mix um, sim racing stuff with political stuff, but that's not even political. That's just freaking wrong. Not gonna keep going over this, but there's a if you want to help out the Ukrainian people now, not like the military and all that stuff, but just the children that are stranded, uh, the evacuees going into Poland and different other countries. Um, here's a couple links. This where you can I vetted these places, they're pretty big uh, companies, and most of the money does go to the actual people on the ground, but anyway. Um, links are up in the description. Let's take a look at this thing and see if we can stall it out, get some readings. All right, I also put this plastic pan underneath. Um, it came from one of my air conditioners. Uh, when I replaced the air conditioner, I had this, this pretty thick plastic pan. So it goes underneath everything. Um, so I cut it out. Here's that brake. So this is an ATV brake. The whole thing cost maybe 40 bucks delivered. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for you guys. It is hydraulic and it should stop this thing. So we're gonna get an amp reading and start this thing up. All right, so the motor's going. I'm going to set this on amps and it's on AC, so let's set it to DC. And I'm gonna zero it out. The DC amps zero. All right, see I have this hydraulic brake right here. I'm going to squeeze the handle. See how many amps we're getting to. 10. Now we're going to stall it. 21. Now that's pretty darn close to the limit of this uh, this converter. Let's try it one more time. Let's go a little bit slower. 35 holy crap and it didn't it didn't trip it so you don't want to do this but a couple times 15 19 all right so let's let's uh let's think about this for a second so it's idling right around two and a half amps and a little bit of the brake is actually hitting here I just kind of got this thing in place. Obviously, it's not perfect. You wouldn't want to run your car like that. But we want to take into consideration that... I'll shut this down. The motor's fine. Even the brake is fine. I mean, barely touched it, so... Um, now this thing... I'm doing this so that you don't have to. All right, so I bought this little hydraulic assembly it uh, actually has a, has a hydraulic reservoir pushing a little thing and it does stop um, I needed to see just how much amperage it would take to stall this thing out and we know that it's right about the limit of this thing so 
This is a 25 amp supply. It'll go a little bit higher, but 25, we don't want the supplies kicking in and out. So until we get both of these motors idling and kind of running and get a, a little bit better idea, we may have to buy two of these converters. Um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and, and hook them both up to the same one. We'll get and get sim tools working, get these motors um, doing what they're supposed to do, you know, hook up this other tie rod, and um, we'll get a little bit more data. But I just wanted to show you, I have try, I tried a couple different ways to stop this manually. Like I said, we needed to find out the stall speed, but, or the stall amperage. And I could not stall it by hand, so I have it wedged up here. I'm going to start the motor. I'm zero this in. Zero DC. And I'm going to try to stall it briefly. Probably don't recommend this with very powerful motors. We'll just see what happens. Could be a total disaster. So just keep an eye on the gauge. Just briefly. No, I couldn't. <laughs> I think we got plenty of torque. <laughs> Wasn't a very good idea. This thing just, it just kicked the whole, as you can see, it kicked the whole rig right up in the air. It just had too much torque. Um, but this was a more sensible way. Took me a little bit longer, but, uh, all right, so I'm gonna rip all this stuff off because I'm not gonna do it again with these motors. Of course, I'll save the disc because it's still good and the brake thing and probably use it on a different test let me hook these things back up and then we'll pull up sim tools and uh you know hook this thing up this thing on and uh, so we're gonna reuse it just got to grind this down if you get rid of these little tacks right here right here and right there all right so the hub is going to live to play another day get this thing on there should be just fine and like I said I did make these spacers right here that's gonna hold it uh, out a little bit so we get better uh, we don't have any mechanical uh, binding going on or at least less than we would all right so a couple things we're gonna need to do since uh, on the windshield wiper rig, it was 12 volts. This is a 12 volt fan. I have purchased a 24 volt fan and we'll wire that in. And we need to mount these uh, Hall Effect potentiometers. I also have some 10K potentiometers for another test at a different time, different video, um, where I'm gonna compare the signal coming uh, that, that this gives compared to a, a the 10k wire wound we're going to use the same rig and everything um but let's take a look at how we're going to mount it all right so previously i uh went ahead and took these okay this is how we're going to mount it we're going to mount it um i'm going to cut this off and we are going to mate them both up. So I have to make a little mount for the, the potentiometer. And we're going to connect this to the Hall Effect potentiometer with 
with the rubber tubing. All right, so guys, I kind of got ahead of myself by hooking these things up. I don't want to hook them up yet, but I have the Hall Effect, or the potentiometers, let's just call them that. If these things, if somehow I can't, um, they, they're not reading it or something is messed up, these things are just going to spin around and around. Um, hopefully what I'm going to be able to do is adjust, um, get the position of the potentiometer, and then by twisting the rubber hose just slightly, I should be able to center this once it's reading. But if it's not, and I have this hooked up, and it does want to spin around, we're going to get into that stall uh, type situation. We don't want that because if you sit in a stall uh, condition and you don't, um, either the motors, most likely the power supply is going to blow. Um, and we are going to, we're going to fuse this thing at, at or we're going to put a 20 amp a breaker on the on all of the power so it should protect it since this uh, since the converter is only a 25 amp um, but so to set it up I'm not gonna have the chair hooked up until I get uh, the readings and once again I taped this one because it's the right side I also taped the right hand side wires so I know you know this is gonna be kind of associated with that. All right, so let me make the mounts for these potentiometers. And once again, if you take a look, this is the rubber tubing. So, I mean, we got a good connection, but the rubber tubing is gonna take up for any uh, miscalculation or me misdrilling the hole correctly. You know, just not having everything perfect. So even if it's off just a little bit, it's still gonna be fine. All it needs to do the potentiometer stays still and then this thing moves around now you can see see that flat part on the potentiometer that's about as much as it's going to move um, and so it just needs to stay still and send that reading back to the arduino all right so i plan to make this uh potentiometer mount a lot sturdier but frankly i'm just i'm just kind of running out of time but as you can see, if you look at this area right in here, all it needs to do is move. So I just need to uh, make this for the other side. And I'll worry about uh, making it stronger or whatever uh, later next week. But right now, this will work. So let's uh, get ready for the other side. All right, so I cut a piece of steel. Right now, I'm just trying to fit this in. It's real close. So just keep uh, testing it. Okay, so that fits. I'm just gonna grind this off and make it, make it flush so I don't cut myself. All right, so I'm going to bend it right here, weld it onto the edge of this, and it should be fine. All right, it's bent. Coming down vertically should be fine. I want to tighten that up, but I need to cut it right here. And then I'm just going to put a few little welds right here. And that'll, that'll keep it nice and sturdy. See if you can, you can see it moving. If I put a mark right here on the potentiometer and on the hose, you can see it moving, no problem. So that's what we want, that's, that's all we need. It's just going to read the position of where the motor is and it's gonna to try to keep that motor whatever, in whatever position the Arduino says to. Um, so anyway, let's get this done. Well, okay guys, we're almost there. Got this one mounted up, both potentiometers are mounted up, and uh, all we need to do really is string the motors together and take a look at this. This is what I was going to do. I was gonna rebuild the whole thing, show you the parts again. So I got a new base. Uh, this is that 24 volt fan. This, is, this new system is gonna run off of 24 volts. 
I got a new power strip right here. I got that at Lowe's for like eight bucks. Because I have like four other ones, but I don't know where they are. Once again, you're going to need two um, of the IBT controllers. I have this little board here with no wires on. I'm just going to connect all the, uh, the hot leads and the ground leads to this. I probably don't even need the whole thing. And I'll shove it in there somewhere. And I got a new Arduino R3. So we did the amp test. And what I have right here is a 15 amp circuit uh, breaker that we're going to be using. Once again, I'm going to take this fan off. And we're using these power connectors in here. And with this type of system, with these IBTs, you need active cooling. You need a fan blowing down. So that like this one here, it's just, it's sucking air in. Oh, sorry. This one sucks air in, blows it straight down on the components. All right, so guys, I'm sure you expected this project to be wrapped up. I certainly did. But, you know, we're in a good place. It is an actual lot of work for, for an old guy like me. I'm not young like you. Um, so I do get tired. I'm pretty dang tired now. I've been, uh, you know, just, I've been cutting trees and, you know, hacking wood and, and doing this whenever I can, whenever I get a chance. And um, I think we're doing pretty good. This is, it's gonna allow us to test a bunch of different motors. Um, not a 12 volt motors, I can get uh, maker motors, um, and we can run all the tests on here so that you have, a, have more information to uh, decide what you may need, what you like, um, whether you want a full frame, whether you just want a seat mover, or whether you don't want to do it at all. So, hey, look, I'm just out here doing my, having fun until I start getting real sore, and I'm getting sore right now. So I'm going to call it a video. I, well, I do appreciate you checking in with me. And, you know, if you got any comments like, hey, why don't you talk about this? Or why don't you go over the controller stuff? You don't really talk about that very good. Let me know what you want. And, you know, if I know anything about it, I'll put it out there. If I don't, I'll mention you in a video and say, hey, this guy asked something and I have no idea what it means. Probably won't say that, but anyway. All right. Hey, don't forget about that crap going on in your crane. Um, do what you can. If you can do anything, if you can't, it is what it is. All right, guys, I'm going to get this video wrapped up and down the road. Next time, I mean, we're real close. I just I just can't pull it together. And it's been like, like two weeks since I've done any video. Done some work, but... I know I don't want you guys leaving. Um, if you can, like, subscribe. I appreciate it because I am trying to grow the channel. And also, if you like racing, you want to race with me, I'm at Sir Spats Gentlemen's League. We race on Saturdays, uh, Central Time. It's 1 o'clock Eastern Time. It's noon, and that's a U.S. So just go over to that Discord. Or if you don't know where it is, you know, just ask me where it's at and I'll, I'll send you a link or whatever. Alright, Dave out and uh, I'll see you next time.